Oh, well, this is wrong. That's better. Hey, look, we're back with more visual novels. Does Green Man Gaming even have those? Not entirely sure. I'm actually looking at their page right now. They do got some sweet deals, though. Devolver sale going on right now. Limited time offers up to 75% off. You can head down to the description below and go check that out if you want. Hello, audience! Donkey Donkey Literature Club is done. So now we're moving on to another visual novel. This is Packa Plus version 3. Uh, I don't know where this came from. I don't know who made it, and I don't know where or who I got it from. So, let's, let's just jump right into this. This is gonna be annoying. It's j j just this whole thing at the bottom of the screen. A violin melody can be heard in the distance. It's a pleasing sound. Summer in the highlands is calm and clear with gentle breezes. As I stand on the grassy plains, still damp with morning dew, I quietly close my eyes, and I lend my ear to that refreshing melody. The love of my life is at my side. We hold each other's hands, wishing we could stay here like this forever. Isn't it still summer vacation? Why is my alarm going off? Dot dot dot. Is this going to be slow, like, forever? Love the really, really, really tiny room. Like, hold on, I'm like reaching around to try to grab my webcam. Love the really tiny room, got barely any, barely any floor space whatsoever. If you, if you don't, if you don't tuck in the chair underneath the desk, you have none. No space for your feet. I'm going, but hold on. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. It's nearly halfway through summer vacation. I, Kazuma Saiki, cling greedily to my pillow and dreams, determined to sleep in. The abrupt wink. <laughs> That is not my phone. My ringtone is 10,000 times cooler. The abrupt ringing of my cell phone tears me away from my thoughts of laziness. Yeah. Hello, Kazuma? Hello? Oh, Yukari, it's you. Are you up and out of bed? Yeah, I'm up. I mean, I just woke up. What's going on? Why are you calling me so early? You know we have to be at school today to prepare for the school festival, right? Are there voices in this? Huh. Really? Oh, right. Gotcha. Oh. Here, hold on. Where's the volume? There it is. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll get ready right away. It seems that preparations for for the school festival are starting today, even though we're in the middle of summer vacation. A single, you should do it too, Kazuma, from a girlfriend, Yukari, was all it took to make a to make me a committee member. Wait, so... Like, we've already surpassed the part where we have to obtain the girlfriend? What kind of visual novel is this crap? <laughs> or, or that's what I remember at least. Yeah, okay, you. All right, so since uh, since there are actually voices in this, I'm gonna up the I'm gonna up the volume of the game to maximum, and uh, I'm just gonna I'm I'm not gonna read their lines. I'll just read my lines. We'll do it the same way we did in. Um, Tokyo School Life. Yeah, yeah, you know, you sound like, you know, you sound like my mom. I'm not sure I can. Where do I keep my clothes in this room? I don't think there's anywhere to do that. Got it, so I'll see you in the usual spot at the usual time. 
after Yukari's wake-up call, I quickly get ready and jump into, or rather, onto my sweet ride, since it's just a bicycle, and rush out of the house. Okay, that's a transition. <laughs> I ride off to school, pedaling as hard as I can. Yukari should have gotten on the bus at the usual time, so if I don't hurry, I'm gonna be late. <gasps> Whew! Out of breath and, my, and with sweat running down my brow, I make my way to the bus stop near the school. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Sorry, the coffee's still really hot. I wait for the bus. Yukari should be, on, should be on as I catch my breath. A few minutes later, the bus comes right on schedule, and a long-haired girl steps off the bus alone. Oh. Well, hello there. How do how how do I swing this one? <laughs> she gives me a familiar bright smile with a familiar greeting. Her name is Yukari Izumi. Izumi. I know of another Izumi. She has she has long she has blue hair. Long blue hair. Like really long. This craps down to her knees. A little bit past it, in fact. Long. Very long. We're both freshmen in class 1A. I was say okay. I got a Sekoi. That's probably it, actually. Sekoi Private High School. She's also my girlfriend. Again, how do we swing this one? She has, uh, she has long, shimmering hair, doe eyes, and a delicate build that makes you worry you'd snap her in half if you hugged her too tightly. I mean, I can see that. It's a visual novel. <laughs> Basically, she's a girl so cute it feels like a waste on me. Th that's Yukari Izumi. Good morning. <laughs> Am I? Well, I'm not dr dr drinking my coffee here, so... Ah, it's still really hot. <laughs> I am indeed sleepy. Indeed! Yes. You have assumed correctly, for I am the sleepiest person on the planet. I thought about going back to bed, but I couldn't keep Yukari waiting here by my by herself. That's why I got here in such a rush, but there's no need to make anything of it. I changed the subject. By the way, Yukari, what's our class doing for the festival again? <laughs> wow. Maid Cafe. Yeah, how real frickin' original. And how many Maid Cafes are in, uh, anime? Yeah, that's about the number that I expected. Oh, I see. That's right. That, that was it. Yes, now I remember. I totally remember now. Something as important as to what we're doing for the, for the school festival. Somehow I forgot that. Let me ask you now so we can, so that we may inform the player. Shut up. <laughs> no, that's not true. I honestly have no such memory. Were we? I think I was. I have no joke. Okay, keep going. Yukari stares at me with an expression that hinges on astonishment, but she nevertheless patiently describes the maid cafe that our class will be hosting. Things started with someone in our class reminiscing about visiting a successful Akibara maid cafe on his Tokyo vacation. By the way, yes, it's Akibara. Some pe some will pronounce it Akihabara. Or Akiba, Akiba. It's just Akihabara. 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 That place in Tokyo. All these guys threw up their hands in support and applauded the speaker, but they still had to get the girls on board. Surprisingly, the proposal was approved quickly. The vast majority of girls agreed with comments such as, I've always wanted to wear a maid outfit, and actually, I do have something like that. This is not... This is not accurate to real life in the slightest, okay? But this is why we play games. 
Then our committee leader, Ayaka Shinozawa, sealed the deal by saying, I'll make sure to prepare suitable main uniforms for all the girls in class. Nobody was left to object, and our class merrily decided on doing a re refreshment booth with a maid cafe theme. Or so the story goes. What's that supposed to be? I feel like a food stand is an option that involves a lot of work for little gain profit-wise, but I'll be happy if I get to see Yukari in maid clothes. Yeah, okay. As we talk about it, the school we, we attend comes into view. Looking up into the sky, the sunshine is getting stronger. The glaring, hot, summer sun is merciless. Seems like today is going to be another hot one. What's the saying? Hold on, it's... Io tanki desu ne! Which is bad weather, isn't it? Bad weather when it's hot. <laughs> this is some crazy transmit. Committee leader Shinozawa is waiting in the classroom by herself when we arrive. Why are you here alone? <laughs> Morning, Shinozawa. You're early as usual. The resourceful committee leader, who easily realized the boys' collective desire for a maid cafe, is considered by most of the class to be level-headed and earnest. However, I also know that she's a hardcore uniform maniac. Kukari told me that Shinozawa can't resist cute outfits. Her collection doesn't just include uniforms of nearby high schools, restaurants, and maid cafes. It even goes as far as to having real ones, uh, real ones, actual housekeepers of English nobility war. Okay, nice to know you have hobbies, but... Ugh. I've heard rumors of a special costume room that she has at home, but the truth of that claim is beyond even Yukari's understanding. You're getting along so well, I feel like the classroom's temperature is rising. Yeah, what's that mean? Yukari looks to me for help, but Yukari, you're very mistaken if you think you can always get help from me. Hey now, hey now. If you don't cut it out, Yukari will get embarrassed and heat this room up even more. If you... If you... Okay, if you catch his meaning there, I, I'm not sure if you did. <laughs> One more committee member arrives late. Ah. Sorry, I, forget, I forgot. I'm not supposed to be reading their lines. True, let's call a temporary ceasefire for now and pick up again after the meeting. Yes, as a member of the organization committee, I'm getting fired up. Am I? Am I really? Alright, Jesus! Or not, okay, the meeting starts amidst Yukari's adorable protest. Well, that should do for today. Fuck, this is gonna take forever to get used to. This is only our first meeting, but Shirozawa has already detailed things so m m minutely, minutely, that it ends quickly. You really command things like a military strategist. I mean, a commander? Maybe I should start calling you Kong Ming. Let's look that one up, why don't we? Okay, so we have uh, Zhu Zilang, which is a Three Kingdom strategist, uh, or uh, Kong Ming, uh, a fictional character in the water margin. <laughs> well, what was that? <laughs> I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. 
I didn't mean to flatter her, but she seems in high spirits after seeing everything go as planned. A quick meet. After that quick meeting, we leave Shinazawa and go for a stroll through the town. At the shopping center in front of the station, we try to hide from the hot rays of the sun as we go from the record store to the bookshop. You know, just... Just, uh... Just... Obvious interests... Wait. That, that, that restaurant there has no egg cake! Asatoma Sagamaya! Oh. <laughs> what the? Okay, I guess we're done there. We go through the arcade and into the, and into a fast food place. This is the Whack Donald's that I've heard so much about. <laughs> I drink a cold soda in the well air conditioned room. Yukari doesn't like soda, so she's sipping iced tea daintily through a straw! <laughs> a fleeting moment in the evening of a hot summer. Great, I'm not. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in a maid outfit. <laughs> Again, how'd I swing this one? But I'm surprised you accepted wearing maid clothes. No qualms about it. Oh. That is not true. <laughs> is that how it goes? So even if you want to try being some, so even you want to try being someone else. Understand girls' as difficult girls' difficult feelings, but if she says so, then it's probably right. Oh, is that your curfew? Your dad's gonna get angry. Yukari looks at her watch. Who carries a watch in the stand. What? What? Okay, what year was this game? This game was March. Like, last year. Okay. Oh, you're right. As we trade si as we trade silly jokes, time passes us by. It's not that we're doing anything or going anywhere in particular, but just being together makes it a wonderful time. Living in the sunlight, living in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. <laughs> Such times are small and simple, but unique to the lives of wholesome students, and just being able to experience them is enough for me. Okay. Well then, be careful getting home. Hey, it's the new anime night slogan. Watch out for cars. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, watashitane. See ya then. After seeing Yukari off at the bus stop, I pedal my way home. Looking up into the red tinted sky while pedaling. I see a single white cloud floating not that far off the ground. It looks to me like a sheep or a camel for some reason or another. Ah, uh, it's a calendar. Kazuma-kun! Yeah. But it's August 16th! It's my birthday! Who's this guy? Get the bill for, for table three, please. Okay. There's a little... There's a little coffee shop hidden next to the residential area, not far from the station. Black Cat Coffee. I've been helping out at the shop far long, eh, far longer than I've attended this school. It was real. It wasn't really a part-time job. Rather, my family. <laughs> Sorry, that was a long one. My family has been on good terms with the people there since I was little, so they're nice to me as well. And when I saw how busy the owner was, I just started helping out when, out here and there. During my childhood years, I ended up coming to the Black Cat instead of the park whenever I couldn't find a place to play. So now I'm closer to the owner than, than even my own father, who never really played with me that much. You yeah. dumbass, this is how Donald Trump got started. His father never loved him, and now we're all suffering for it. 
register all the way over there in the corner. There's not a phone. Where's the register? <laughs> the owner, Akio Mit Mita Akio Mitaka, runs the shop with his two daughters. But there are times when he'll take any help he can get. Thank you very much. Now then, I have to, I have just seen off the last customer, and now it's just me and the owner inside the shop. It's strange how large the inside of the shop feels when it's only the, the two of us in here, since it's a rather small cafe. Yeah, I don't know what I mentioned that, but yeah. I'm just chatting with the owner since there isn't much of anything else to do. Yeah, it just suddenly happened, so I've been bogged down with the prep with preparation for the festival. Yeah, 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 okay, I'll, 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 I'll... I'll, uh, pass the, um, duties off to my secretary. <laughs> Please don't add on more pressure. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. This guy looks like someone from another anime that I've seen. Really? I can think of a certain someone that would love hearing that, actually. As I say that, I imagine a grinning Shinozawa saying, I'll take you up on that. So, like... The cakes for the maid cafe. How much time is needed to make them, and how much should we spend on the on ingredients? So da na. Jikan to yuri setsubi no mondai ga aru kamo shirenai ne. Chorishi wa atsukairu no kai? No, the cooking club has reserved the kitchen. Those bastards! We have to prepare everything in our classroom. We got a hot plate for that. Sore da to oven no chotatsu ga muzukashi so da ne. Yeah, we need to. Fucking, the, what's the cooking club doing anyway? And why is there a cooking club? We have home ec class for that crap. I thought the point of clubs was to do something that isn't covered in the curriculum. Then we'll need to buy one from somewhere. If so, then our expenses will be pretty high. The owner folds his arms and goes, hmm. Are you sure? His sudden suggestion surprises me. In fact, the Black Cat Cafe sets are known to be delicious. Black Cat Cafe cake sets. They're sets? Okay. Are known to be delicious even around the neighborhood. So much so that they've been featured in magazines before. Customers would definitely love having those cakes in the maid cafe. Ah, huh. That won't be a problem at all. I think we'll need I think we'll need quite a lot though. Will that be fine? Kazuma kun no tameda. Nanto ka shiyou. Yeah, what are you gonna gonna get them through uh get the business cards through uh I forget where I got mine. Thanks, can we go over the details next time? Uh. I'll tell Shinozawa about this later. I don't want to give the owner too much trouble, but... Well, this is Shinozawa we're talking about, so it should be fine. And there's one more thing I want to check on with the owner. Boss, can I have time off at the end of the month? My shift is Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, but it can be changed freely depending on my... Mm -hmm. Depending on my and the owner's situation. The end of the month, August 31st, is actually Yukari's birthday. Since it's her birthday, I'd rather be by her side than work. It's Yukari's birthday, so I was thinking of taking her somewhere nice. Okay. Thank you very much. Actually, there's something I, there's something related that I wanted to ask you about. I was thinking about getting her uh, some type mm. of present. Mmm, <laughs> <Kie? laughs> What do girls like getting? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, Kazuma. Mmm, so da na. Gakuni Kazuma kun datta ra, Yukari chan kara nani o present sare tara ureshi kai? Even though I'm asking him, I get a question in response. 
Uh, me? I, I, I don't really have anything in particular I want. Just, just send money. Just give her an envelope filled with money. <laughs> that's how, that's how you should, it's just like, here's the money. <laughs> Go get what you want. I think I'd have, like anything Yukari picks out for me. So? Right. Nunchucks it is. <laughs> so you're saying it really is the thought that counts? That does not help. <laughs> she likes music, so maybe I'll find her some violin-related accessories. The owner smiles and disappears behind the counter. How do you disappear behind a counter? Just like I'm gonna, I have a bed back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie down. Probably going to check on the coffee beans. Yeah, you go check those coffee beans. M m make sure they're up, not up to no good. Oh, it's you. Welcome. To, oh, Yukari, it's you. Understood, madam. Would this seat be adequate? I lead her to a seat near the window as I say that. May I please take your order? The A combo comes with uh, carbonara, whereas the B combo has rice omelet. B both come with complimentary salad and drink. Okay. I knew you'd go for that. You really like your rice omelet. <laughs> As to be expected from a regular, quite the discerning eye. It'll be here shortly. Boss, B combo. Now! <laughs> no, I cannot. Do not let me near the stove. Do you, realize, do you realize what happened when I tried to do the Headhunter Productions cooking show? It went down like, today I'm gonna sh we're gonna put this meatloaf in the oven and in just 30 sh- I burnt my entire house to the ground. Fuck. <laughs> okay. As you heard... I shall not disappoint, madam. I put on my apron as I head to the kitchen. Great, I'm back in this nightmare. <laughs> Sometimes I have to wield the frying pan instead when the owner is busy roasting the beans. I practice cooking fluffy, melty rice omelets so often it's not it's now my forte. Alright, that alright, that should be good. I place the omelet over the over the chicken and rice, cut it down in its center, and open up a gap and finish it up by topping everything with sauce. So much sauce. But I feel a little, but I feel a little, little mischievous today. This is gonna get me fired, isn't it? <laughs> I add a little something to the salad too. Just a bit of mischief. Just a bit of mischief. Sorry to keep you waiting. One deluxe fluffy melty rice omelet. I swear to God, if this mischief ends up with the, with fucking girl stabbing herself in the chest, <laughs> Yukari quickly brings a spoonful of delicious rice omelet to her mouth. Why do girls always look this happy when they eat something delicious? They don't. From what I've observed, they don't. Her happiness is contagious. But just as she bites into the salad, her eyes go wide and she freezes up. Oh, so it really is something you notice right away. Circle, X, star, at symbol, hashtag, whatever the hell that is, dollar sign. <laughs> she furiously washes the salad down with water and looks at me in protest, tears in her eyes. What the fuck is okra? Okay, it's known in English-speaking countries as ladies' fingers, or otro. I've still never heard of it somehow. Yep, I did. 
okay, you're just gonna admit to that? <laughs> okay. Usually there's no o okra in the salad, but it's on the house, so... But it's on the house. Do you know it's good for your complexion? Again, how do we swing this one? <laughs> Don't be mad, you'll ruin that pretty face! <laughs> Yukari puffs out her cheeks, but, mm, but keeps eating her rice omelette. You say whatever, but you're still eating the rice omelette. <laughs> With warm feelings f filling my heart, I look at Yukari and wonder what, what to get for her birthday. I know it's the thought that counts, but I want her to be happy getting it. I'll try taking note. Um, I'll try taking note of what grabs her attention next time. It's 7:40. 40 minutes after Rebecca Black woke up. <laughs> Yukari steps off the bus right on schedule. I wanted to. What do you mean today? It's not like I slipped in last time. That's not true! Fine, I'll admit you were a big help that time. We're meeting up for the school festival again. Shinozawa, who is handling costumes, has organized a platoon of seamstresses from the Handicrafts Club. A, pl a platoon? Okay. Other team members are busy working on their greeting manual and putting the menu together. What Yukari and I are doing is making the list of what needs to be purchased. Hmm. No, the tablecloths will be red. Wouldn't pink be better if it's a maid cafe? I see, so the maid outfits are pink. What the crap? Don't worry about it, you're cute no matter what you wear. <laughs> God damn it! Again, how did we swing this one? Do I? <laughs> sorry, sorry. He'd need a sign as well. So I guess that's about it. We got like, we got like, fucking CVS receipts length of items. <laughs> you know how long those receipts are? We check over the list we've made. According to the schedule, we'll be skipping the next meeting to go shopping. We really need to put some thought into this, since I want to buy everything in one go. Yeah, this should be all, right? This should be all, right? What's after this? Oh, sweet. <laughs> Then how about we go go do our homework together in the library? Then why did you mention it? Orchestra club, wasn't it? Can't miss that now. Go do your best. No, you're not. It's fine, it's fine. But it really isn't. Yukari apologizes again and leaves the classroom. I thought about joining a club at the start of school, but working at Mr. Mitaka's shop was both enjoyable and fulfilling, so I decided against it. Who enjoys working? No one enjoys working. Everyone pretends that they like working, okay? <laughs> there was the guy who went on the Fox News and was like, women are pretending that they like working, so are the men. God! It's not some kind of crazy conspiracy, okay? Though feminism might be. I don't know. I have to do some research. I'll get back to you on that one. 
After Yukari leaves for a club, I jump into the conversations of classmates who are helping with preparations. It's nice to know- it's nice that they've shown up, but unfortunately, it's too early to start doing any actual work, so they're just waiting around. The DLC mission for, uh... Wolfenstein 2? I didn't buy those because they're GARBAGE! <laughs> so, yeah, no, I didn't finish them. Oh, uh, we're talking about MMOs. Okay, I played two MMOs. Two total. That's it. <coughs> oh, that's already it? No, I've been playing Surviving Mars! My bad, I've been busy lately. Playing Surviving Mars. Yes, a real girlfriend. You know, as opposed to your body pillow. <laughs> Hunter is on fire today. Not what I mean. <coughs> Am I? I got it, I got it. Do I? School bell rings while we're while we're talking and all that dumb stuff, so we leave as well. I think about just heading back, but thoughts of Yukari resurface. Come to think of it, I've never actually seen Yukari up close while she's playing the violin. I've cheered her on during competitions and tournaments, but she doesn't want to be watched when she's practicing because it's embarrassing for her. It feels like she practices every day. Performing with an instrument must really be that hard. It piques my interest, so I decide to go peek into the music room. The music room is soundproofed. Then why can I hear it? But just the slightest hint of a violin melody can be heard in the hallway. This song, I've heard it somewhere before. It's... Pachelbel's Canon. No, not Pachelbel! When I find myself in times of trouble, Pachelbel's always following me. I'll see you in hell, Pachelbel! Uh... Opening the door, there is Yukari, elegantly playing her violin. It doesn't seem that there are other students in the music room. I got just a... Sorry, just checking something. Oh, that turns the voices on and off. It doesn't seem that there are any other students in the music room. She keeps playing, unaware of my arrival. It doesn't feel right to right interrupting, so I'll wait until she's finished. Yukari has been playing the violin since she was little. I remember being told at some point that Pachelbel's Canon was the first piece she learned. It's the, the, the because every because it invades everything. <laughs> she plays the piece so oh, as if not to forget her beginnings. I don't know how much- I don't know much about classical music, but I can tell the sound from her violin is crystal clear. It's a pure, honest sound. If I listen to it with my eyes closed, it's as if the sound is probing the depths of my own heart and feelings. What kind of person am I? In terms of hobbies, I just play some games from time to time. <clears throat> Even my part-time shifts at the cafe aren't much- aren't as much of jobs as they are a way for me to relax by helping out a bit. This guy has the dumbest life, by the way. <laughs> I've never seriously put forth real effort in anything. Yukari's earnest expression and the movement of her delicate arms speak volumes of the time she has poured into music. I feel a bit envious of her. As I'm thinking about it, the music stops. Yukari has turned to see me. Yes, I was. Nah, I just thought I'd come peek in before leaving. Your music is so beautiful, so... <laughs> Flattery will get me to the ends of the earth, damn it! I wasn't expecting anything by praising her. I just said what I felt. Was that Pachelbel's cannon? The song is sort of warming. 
聞けば聞くほど深みが出てくる曲。It's just Paka Bell. I see. Well, I don't, I don't want to get in the way of your practicing, so I'll go now. また明日ね。Yes, また明日ね。I leave the music room so as to not get in Yukari's way. Closing the door, I hear the sound of the violin start up again. The same song, Paka Bell's Cannon. It really speaks to how much she loves playing the violin. I want to find something that I can pour my heart and soul into just as much as Yukari does so I can stand proud beside her. YouTube! Best job in the world. That's what goes through my mind. Okay, we're skipping a couple of days here. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it off here. That's Paka Plus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tune in next week for more. Uh, well, we've already surpassed the let's get a girlfriend stage, so... That was easy. Thanks for watching, guys! And I will see you in the next video. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's almost the end of summer vacation. Which begs the question, why have we been going to school? Not much of a vacation, if you ask me!